Okay, so title source it is a basic course in real analysis, and the topics which I will cover in this course are date kinds theory. Okay, so the topic which I will cover first is the date kind theory of irrational numbers. The second topic which will give the Cantor's theory of irrational numbers. Third topic is our sets which will include all bounded set and the open closed and compact etcetera. Then continuity of the function. Of course, real valued functions we will take. Then differentiability. Then we will go for the Riemann integration. as well as also we will go for the Riemann still J integral. Then we will go for after this if the time permits then we will go for the improper integrals. though it is not listed in the part, but if the time permits, we will give you the idea of the improper integrals, both type whether the upper limits or lower limit is infinite minus infinity to infinity or 0 to infinity or the case where the limits are finite proper integral, but the function is discontinuous at some point in between say minus 1 to 1, 1 by x dx. Then x at the point 0 the function is a discontinuous function. So, though the limit is finite, but the function is discontinued, it will be treated as a improper integral of the second kind. And the sum integral like 0 to infinity and some function f x dx or minus infinity to infinity f x dx, that is also considered to be and in particular cases our beta gamma functions, which are very very useful for those in engineering branch. Okay. So, these we will cover later on. Now, the first two chapters which we will discuss the date kind theory of irrational number and Cantor's theory of irrational number is basically in what manner the real numbers has been developed. Actually, we know the set of sequences, we know the natural numbers starting from 1, 2, 3 and so on. Then when we add two natural number, we get a natural number, but when we subtract the two natural number, then we also get some number which is 0 or sometimes negative also. So, an idea of the generating the whole numbers comes in picture that is when the natural number is supplemented with 0, 0, 1, 2, 3 this is called the set of whole numbers. And similarly, when the negative integers is also included all the 0 uh, positive integers, negative integers as well as 0 then this is called the integers. And then idea when the we apply the addition much subtraction, then any two integers when we add we get always integer, when we subtract two integer we always get integer, but when we divide the two integers and the denominator is not 0, then we not necessary to always get an integer. So, that gives an idea of the further extension of the number system and that leads to the concept of the rational number and since always the numbers may not be of rational that is a number which is root square root 2 or source. This we will prove it is not a natural, it is not a rational number. So, again the idea of enlarging this set of rational numbers again leads to the concept of irrational number and then rational together with rational will lead to the real number system. But how this development has been done that is given by the date kinds 
in one uh, in terms of the sections and cantors also in terms of that. Okay. So, we will give an idea of the development of this number system in these two chapters and later on we will go about each one. Okay. So, that is the idea of it. The books which I will follow is the routine book water routine this is the principles of mathematical analysis principles of mathematical analysis this is Mac, Tata McGrahel, McGrahel book it is available then second book which we will follow is Sterling K Bulvarian a first course in real analysis in real analysis then we will also follow the book M H uh, M H Proter and C B More. This is a first course in real analysis, same title, a first course in real analysis, and this is basically a Springer Verlag book. Springer Verlag. This is also an Springer Verlag book, and this is McGrahill. Okay, so these are the books which we follow, and in uh, Indian authors, you can go in uh, Santinan book, or maybe there is one book that is by Saran and Saran. That also a good book. Uh, that is a theory of function of real variable theory of functions of real variables of real variables okay so that is these books is more than sufficient or you can go to any other book there are so many books are available on real analysis where you can okay so first one. so this is what now let's see the first dead kinds theory of the irrational numbers so, we will start with the say rational cuts first. We know the rational numbers. Rational numbers a number of the form a number of the form p by q where p and q both are in teacher. are integers q is not equal to 0 and normally we take q to be a positive q greater than 0 and also assume there no common factor p and q have no common factor p and q have no common factor. So, a number of the form p by q where p q both are integers q is not equal to 0 and normally we take q to be greater than 0 and we start uh, allow p to vary over the integers then we get all sort of the number which are called the rational numbers. And these rational numbers if we have the two rational number then addition subtraction division multiplication division means when q term is not equal to 0 when one term is uh, not equal to denominator denominator is different from 0 okay then division is possible so if we apply the operation of addition that is if two rational number if i add you get again a rational number if i subtract the two rational number again we get a rational number if I divide the two rational number provided the denominator is non zero, then also we get a rational number. 
and when we multiply the two rational number, we also get a rational number. So, basically it satisfies all the algebraic operations which are available, addition, subtraction, etcetera. And not only this, this set of rational number is an ordered field. This set of rational numbers is an ordered field. Ordered field we mean that if we pick up any two rational number from the collection of the rational point numbers, then one can easily identify which number is greater than the other or which number is lower uh, less than the other or are they, or they are equal. One can easily identify the relation between the two number which is less than, greater than or equal to. So, any two number alpha 1 and alpha 2, these are two rational number, q is the set of rational numbers. Then one can easily, one can that is one can easily identify the either alpha 1 is less than alpha 2 or alpha 1 is greater than alpha 2 or alpha 1 equal to alpha 2. One can easily identify and not only this if say are three numbers then suppose alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 these are three rational numbers and if alpha 1 is less than alpha 2, alpha 2 is less than alpha 3 then easily one can show alpha 1 is less than alpha 3 that is the associative property in case of this uh, that is alpha 1 is less than alpha 2, alpha 2 is less than alpha 3 then we get the transitive property is it not then alpha 1 and alpha 3 is also related with the less than sign. So, this is what we have. A very interesting property of this rational number is that between any two rational numbers, between any two rational numbers, say alpha and beta, say alpha and beta there will always exist a rational number, a rational number lying in between alpha and beta. That is, if alpha is this number, beta is this number, one can always get a rational number which is say alpha plus beta by 2 lies between alpha and beta that alpha is less than this which is less than beta. Okay? So, we can always find out the number in between alpha and beta and this is true for any this is also rational number. So, in fact, between any two rational number one can introduce infinite number of the rational points in between two. So, basically that is between any two rational number rational numbers one can introduce infinite number of rational point rational points is it okay clear now suppose i represent these rational numbers by means of a point on a straight line by choosing say fix a position of 0 and then fix the length of the identity 1 and then on this scale one can <coughs> find out a location of a rational points on these real lines on this real line is it not depending on the length how much distance is from the 0 say 2 by 3 it means it distance from the origin is 2 third. So, you can have this point like 2 by 3, say minus 2 by 3 and so on like this. So, the rational point can be arranged or can be uh, located on the identify by a point on the real on a line a straight line. Now, will it complete the entire real line? Will it uh, absorb all the points of the real line? Or in other words, what I mean is that can you say 
because between two relation number we can always get an infinite number of relation, relational points. So, and if I arrange this relational point uh, on the some state line, then can you say the entire state line minus infinity to infinity can is filled up by means of rational point? The answer is no. That is, there are all the points lying on this state line which are not at all rational point, so, not at all rational point. So, those points which are not at all rational point, we cannot be put it in the set of rational number. So, it means the set of rational number is not at all complete, is it not? So, we need the further extension of the rational point. Now, for example, if we take a point under root 2, square root of 2, okay, we claim that we claim that square root of 2 is not a rational number. Is not a rational number. This is our claim. Suppose I prove it by contradiction. Suppose it is a rational number, then it must lead to a contradiction. So suppose it is not true. That is the meaning of this is that is under root 2 can be represented by means of p by q by a rational point where p and q are integers. q is greater than 0 not equal to 0 and p and q are not having any factor common any common factor uh, are not having any common factor is it okay suppose i prove by condition suppose i assume the root 2 is a rational point it means root 2 can be expressed in the form of p by q, where p and q both are integers, q is not equal to 0, q is positive and p and q is not having any factor common, is it not? So, that is, let us see. So, we get basically now, so what we get is that p by q is equal to root 2, clear? square it. So, this implies p square is equal to 2 times of q square. Okay. Now, p square is 2 times of q square, it means what? That p square is divisible by 2, because q is integer, q is integer. So, q square will also be an integer. So, if I take p square by 2, you are basically getting an integer. So, what can you say? This shows that p square is divisible by 2. Is it clear? Now, if p square is divisible by 2, can you say the p is also divisible by 2? If p square is divisible by 2, then p, can you say it is divisible by 2? divisible by 2, because the reason is if, if it is not divisible by 2, suppose p is not divisible by 2, it means what? The p by 2 is not a integer, it is not integer. So, if it is not integer, when you square it, what will happen? The square of this will not be integer. So, you are not getting the q square, you follow me? You are not getting integer. So, again guys, so if p square is divisible by 2, the p has to be divisible by 2. Okay. It means, when p is divisible by 2, then p can be written in the form of 2 times r, where r is some integer. Is this clear or not? Okay. Or, I, I will uh, explain again like, suppose when we say p square is equal to 2 q square, 
will it not imply p square is an even integer even integer what the integer which are multiple of 2 these are the even integer so p square is an even integer so square root of uh, this p if p even integer means it is divisible by 2 so square root of p will also be an even because if p is not even the square of this may not be even because say p is 3 what is the square is 9 it is not an even integer so if p square is even the division of this is square root of this will be even number so that's why we say p is also divisible by 2 okay once p is divisible by 2 p can be expressed in the form of 2 r where r is some integer then only you can divide by 2 you are getting integer otherwise not so substitute it here so what we get from equation 1 so from 1 if i substitute then what you get q square becomes 2 times of r square is it clear again the same argument it means what q square is divisible by 2 is divisible by 2 so q must also be divisible by 2 q is also divisible by 2 it means p is also divisible by 2 this is 2 q is also divisible by 2 it is 3 equation so what do you get a common factor 2 so 2 and 3 implies that p and q have common factor 2 that is 2 which leads a contradiction because if root 2 is a rational number and express in the form of p by q then p and q should not have any common factor so a contradiction a contradiction exists and this contradiction is because of our wrong assumption that root 2 is a rational number it means this implies root 2 is not a rational point is not a rational number is this clear okay and in fact this is the one example i have taken in you take any square root of a positive integer any square root sorry mm, a square root of any positive number say under root 5 under root 6 under root 7 this all will be a irrational numbers we call it this later on as a irrational points which are not rational okay so it means the set of line the set of points uh, rational point on the line is not complete they are all gaps which gaps can be filled up by means of these irrational points okay how to introduce this irrational point that is done by the dead kinds okay how did he introduce this rational point concept of the irrational point that is done by dead kinds and same in the cantors okay now let us look another uh, thing from root 2 if we say root 2 and suppose i just calculate it square root of 2 by using our calculator then what you value you are getting suppose first 1 then 1.4 only first decimal place then 1.41 second decimal place and if i continue this then what you get 1 point 1 point 414 then 1 point 41 42 and so on just take the square root using your calculator with the first decimal place second decimal place and third and continue is it not now if i square this so square of 1 is 1 square of 1.4 is nothing but 1.96 square of 1.41 is coming to be 1.9881 then 1.999396 and so on this is square is it not now if i plot this point what is it this sequence of the squares does it not tending to 2 from the left hand side 
this is our 2 you are getting the points which are approaching towards 2 is it not. So, and these are all rational points because you can write this 1 by 96 1.96 is 1 96 by 10 square this you can write this divided by 10 to the power 4 and like this. So, these are all rational points. So, a sequence of the rational number is obtained from the left hand side which is approximating 2 is it clear. Now, sim if I add the add one digit in each term or increase one digit increase one digit in say this is say alpha I take in alpha. So, what we get here you are getting two one digit more two here you are getting 1.5 here you are getting 1.42 1.415 1.4143 just increase the last digit by 1 increase the last digit by 1 1 digit uh, increase last digit digit by 1 ok. So, you are getting now if I square again what you get 4 this is something like 2.25, this is something 2.0164, 2.002225 and so on. This is 2.0002449. So, what you get now? You are getting a sequence of these points, this is 2 you are getting a sequence of the rational number which is which are approaching to 2 from the right hand side. So, 2 is sandwiches you are getting a sequence of rational number which is approximating 2 from the left you are also getting a sequence of rational number which is approximating 2 from the right hand side and the limiting point is coming to be this root of 2. The sequences are rational, but the limit point is not a rational point is it clear? So, that gives the idea of the irrational number. It means the irrational numbers they are basically a number which can be approximated by means of the rational points ok by which can be approximated by means of a rational points and it lies always in between two any two rational number is there we can always get a rational number as well as irrational number in between two. Okay. So, that is is this clear any doubt please. Huh? Okay. Now, one more thing is for we can divide the whole rational number into two classes. Suppose, I say the set of all rational number whose square is less than 2 and the set of those rational number whose square is greater than 2. If I say that class set of suppose I say uh, one can or we can divide we can divide the positive rational number rational numbers into two classes two classes one containing the number one containing the number numbers whose squares whose squares are less than 2 and the other and the other and the other one contain the other and the other whose square ok and the other who those other those whose squares whose squares are greater than 2 
greater than 2. <laughs> so, this is our this is our 2 ok. We are taking those rational number whose square is less than 2 ok. Then that class B will denote by L ok. The first class this one containing the number whose square are less than 2 this will be denoted by L and the those rational number whose squares are greater than 2 we denote by R. So, all the rational number will be either in L or will be in R. Any rational number you pick up whose square is greater than 2 you write in R if it is in this you write in R L. So, this way we can entire rational number we can be uh, separate out in the form of these two classes one L lower class and one is the upper class. And then what about the two? Two does not neither belongs to L nor belongs to R is it not because it is not at all the rational point. But suppose I take the set of those rational points which are less than equal to 1 and the those lay which are greater than 1. So, all rational number which are less than equal to 1 it will include all the points less than equal to 1 all the points which are lying towards the left of 1 and the point which are strictly greater than 1 lies towards the right of the 1 and 1 itself is a point in lower class because lower class I am choosing those rational number points who which are less than or equal to 1 clear. So, and 1 is a rational number. So, it means the entire real line we can uh, entire this number system we can break up into the classes lower class and upper class and these classes are also of two types where the point which break up the two classes the point lies in the one of the class or may not lie in the one class the point which lies in the one of the class will correspond to the rational number ok like say 1 1 lies in there. So, the entire class we say it correspond to 1 but the point which does not lie in a, that correspond to the irrational number. So, like under 2 ok. So, that will give the classification is it correct. Now, these classes have certain property the the properties these classes have have some property properties. The first property is that every mem number of R, every number of R, R means upper class. Remember, this we call it as a upper class. Every num number R, member of R, every member, every member of R is uh, greater than. is greater than every member of L which is obviously true. The second property says that there is a number of L number of L means lower class and a member there is a number of L or there is a member of L why I am writing number there is a member of L and a member of R and a member of R whose difference whose difference is as small as small as B please. What do you mean by this? <laughs> suppose this is our lower class this is a upper class ok. What it says is there is a member of the lower class say suppose A, A is a member of the lower class and a member of the upper class say B such that whose difference is A is small A B please this we want it ok. Then, so, let us say let A belongs to the lower class b belongs to the upper class. So, b minus a will be positive 
let a belongs to the lower class b belongs to the upper class why a minus b minus a greater than 0 because the elements of the upper class will always be greater than the elements of the lower class so b minus a greater than 0 is it okay now this length b minus given any epsilon given epsilon greater than 0 one can find n one can find n such that b minus a by n is less than epsilon because b minus a is positive and epsilon is support 10 to the power minus 2. So, you can choose a n such a way so that the b minus a by n is less than 10 to the power minus 2 let it be d. Okay. So, what we get you are starting with a next term will be a plus d then a plus 2 d and so on a plus r d a plus r plus 1 d and like this and last term is a plus n d that is equal to b. Is it okay? These are the classes. Is it correct? Like this. So, we are getting this thing a plus n d is b and a is the. Now, a is in the lower class this is our a is this side b is this side. You are introducing the point in between a and b by this this is a this is the new point this is another point this is another point like this. So, as soon as you introduce the point there will be a cross this will the point will cross this line is it not this this line that divides between lower and upper class. So, this is the line here is L here is R this is L this is R. So, a R will come a number R will obtain so that A plus R D A plus R D belongs to the lower class while A plus R plus 1 D belongs to the upper class for some R is it not for some R for so for some R some R this this will happen because you are continuously dividing and then approaching a. So, when you go slowly here a point will here some point will be here and immediately it will jump it will go to this. So, for certain r this point is a plus r d this point is a plus r plus 1 d. Okay. Now, what is the difference of this? So, difference of this will be of these points is nothing but what is nothing but d you see this minus and d is always be less than epsilon. R. So, what what our claim is that there is a member of I L and that member is a plus r d and a member of r that is a plus r plus 1 d whose difference is can be made as small as we please epsilon R is a given choice. So, you can choose any epsilon R. accordingly you can identify the two points whose difference can be made less than epsilon. R. Clear? So, this is the second property which I okay. <coughs> third property says the class L the class L has no greatest number greatest number and the class R no least number or no least number in case of a square root remember when the class is produced by a square root I am not saying rational point no. in case of the square root which is set of all rational number whose square is less than 2 is a lower class set of all number whose square is greater than 2 for that class lower and upper class lower will not have a, any greatest number upper class will not have any man. that is that is the class L lower class L where which contains all rational numbers whose square is strictly less than 2 and 
the class R which contains all rational numbers whose square is greater than 2. Okay? Now, these classes for these classes these classes property property third hold that is in this, in this case the lower class will not have a largest number and upper class will not have a least number. Suppose I have for example proof is okay. suppose a b a suppose a belongs to the lower class that is the a square is less than 2 is it not. So, 2 minus a square will be positive. Okay. Once it is positive you can identify the number a 1. So, there exists a number a 1 belongs to L there exists a number a 1 with such that 2 minus a 1 square which is less than 2 minus a square is it not because there is a gap 2 minus a square is greater than 0. So, basically this is our 0 here is some weight thing number 2 minus a square. So, again there is a gap in between we can identify some rational numbers is it not which like. So, you can find a a 1 such that 2 minus a 1 square is less than this but what do you mean by this? This shows a 1 is greater than a. 2 to get cancer minus a 1 square is less than. So, when you multiply by a minus order reverses. So, it is greater than a. It means if a if I claim a is the largest number which is not true because you are able to get another number a 1 which lies in L which is greater than a. So, L cannot have a largest number. Okay. Similarly, one can show for the upper class R. Similarly, so L cannot have cannot have largest number. Okay? Cannot have a largest number. Similarly, R cannot have least number. Is this okay? Now, based on this our discussion, we can now divide introduce the concept of cuts of rational points. Okay? So, that is also called the sections. So, based on this, now we introduced the sections of rational numbers. Of sections of rational numbers. <coughs> okay. So, what we say is section of rational number, sections of a rational number, section or cut uh, of a rational number, section of a rational number can be can be constructed constructed with reference to any two property to any two properties any two properties say teach say p and q p and q which are mutually exclusive exclusive and and one of which is essentially and which are mutually exclusive and one of which 
and one of which is essentially possessed possessed essentially possessed by every rational number by every rational number uh, let us see what is the meaning of this when we say the section of a rational rational number rational number can be constructed with the reference to any two properties say p and q which are mutually exclusive and one of which is essentially possessed by every rational number say for example when we say the set of those rational numbers set of rational number rational number set of rational numbers x which are less than 1 okay and the set of rational numbers x which are which are uh, less than 1 and set of which are not less than 1. Suppose I give this two statement set of those rational number which are less than 1 I denote say L this is R it means what L L is the set of those rational number Q such that X is strictly less than 1. So, what is the property? Property P is less than. So, here, here the property P is less than 1. This is the property which you are imposing, is it not? Set of those rational number, set of those point x such that x is less than 1. So, x satisfy this property. And what is R? R is the set of those rational point such that x is not less than 1 it means what it will be greater than or equal to 1 that is here q is not less than 1. So, this is the property. So, what he said that every rational number can be constructed with reference to two properties p and q this is the property p this is the q clear. So, the 1 is the number which can be separated out or which can separate the rational or rational number into two classes one is the l class other one is the r class and r contains one r contains one clear so this r which is an upper class and l is the lower class and this is represented by one if i say the section lr is represented by 1 then what do you mean by this it means the l lower class contains those rational number which are less than 1 and upper class r contains those rational which are not less than 1 then 1 is a number which divides the whole rational number into two classes or every rational number or any rational number will be either a part of l or maybe part of r okay so this will be a cut this is known as the cut ha yes ha yes this is this is ha 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 no q is the same q is the collection of the rational number q is the collection of the rational number so from this q we are picking up those rational number. Ha, rational number. Here also Q collect the rational number. Which right side? This one. Oh, this property. Yes, yes. I am. Uh, yeah. So let it be this uh, P and Q. So should I write this Q dash? Uh, Q one. Uh, uh, this is Q. Uh, rational. I am taking a rational. <coughs> let it be <coughs> denoted by something. Sir, here 
Q rational, rational. Is it okay? Q rational, set of rational. This property is something. Huh? This two are not. Yeah, this is the property. Okay. Similarly, when you go for the square root of two, okay, square root of two. When you say it also divides the rational point into two parts, two classes, those rational number whose square is less than two, those rational number whose square is greater than two. So, entire rational number you can divide into two, two classes. One is the lower class, where it the whole rational number. Similarly, second example is suppose L I say set of those ration, Q a rational point x belongs to rational such that a square of this is less than 2 okay and r is the set of those rational such that a square of this is greater than 2 so this is the lower class this is the upper class and 2 is the number which is square root of 2 dividing the number but 2 square root 2 is neither belongs to l nor belongs to r so basically this is this cut this will give a cut or section corresponding to root 2. There is a this was a cut corresponding to 1, but 1 was 1 of in 1 of the class here root 2 is non, none of the class. So, there is two types of cut one is the rational cut another one is the irrational cuts and combination of this gives the continuum entire real line. When a collection of all these cuts gives the entire real line that is known as the continuum okay and that this way the real line the system of the real number has been defined okay so this is the theory given by the dead kinds introduced in terms of the curves thank you very much thanks okay